Hello smiling faces, Domenico Solazzo in here and today we are going to talk about how you can support and help junior developers. The first one is be available to junior developers. And what I mean is like always be available to answer their question. Don't be that guy that is like, oh, I don't have time, I'm so busy, uh, you need to figure it out. D don't be the rude guy in the room, try to help them out. Sometimes like your small answer, like your small help will help them like so deeply during their task. Maybe they are like really under pressure to accomplish what they want to uh, do with their tasks and your help could be like so useful and they can learn from you and my suggestion is like be kind always be nice to uh, people that has less experience of you because they are like come and look up to you for help so don't be the rude guy because then maybe it's like they will see that is the behavior that every senior developer has in the company or in general maybe they will become like that i know we are always busy with work be available be nice and kind to your fellow co-workers mostly like if they are uh, less experienced than you the second uh, tips let them learn from their mistakes we <laughs> have been all like junior developers we all have make mistakes uh, some smaller mistakes some bigger mistake uh, I did it myself, some mistake. I was a junior developer or was like even a senior. As a senior, sometimes I made some mistake. I'm not perfect. We need to help them to understand what the mistake is. Support them, sit together, have a brief meeting with, with them and making them understand, okay, this was a mistake. I want you to understand what you did uh, wrong, how we can fix it now and how can we improve the situation in a way that's like you don't make the same mistake all the time because like learning from your mistake is one of the best way to get experience in the day-to-day -day job. Third tips is do code review. Do code review often. A code review is a great time to point out like best practice that you have like in your software team, in software development in general. And that could be like just sitting together, going through the code and explaining like how things could have been done differently, how the team do things usually. Uh, because you can read a lot of documentation and when you are doing your tasks sometimes you can forget things mostly like when you are a junior developer so during the code review is such an important time where you can just sit down with your fellow co-workers and try to point out like best practice someone like more experienced could suggest like a uh, a smarter way to do things because like maybe an experienced developer saw that problem over and over and uh, maybe the team already solved a similar problem in the past and they can suggest and explain to the junior developer why that solution could be better than solution B and why they solve it in that case so that the junior developer through a code review grab all this knowledge and start learning from more experienced people. By joining forces, everyone learn, everyone becomes better. Uh, the, the person that wrote the code gets like so good input and feedback about the areas that they could improve in the code base and themselves as a software developer. So what else they can do to improve their code styling, best practice in software development. But also, but also the reviewers, maybe they can learn something good from junior developers. I, I don't know, maybe they wrote the code in a way that was like so smart that also the reviewer becomes smarter thanks to a junior developer because it's like it's about uh, learning each from each other. It's not just like uh, the junior developer sucking up knowledge from the experienced developer. Sometimes it can happen that the junior developer come with smarter ideas, smarter solution. And why not? Also you as a senior developer can learn from them. A code review is about asking for improvement. That's what a code review is. Like you create a pull request, you ask for a code review, you ask for improvement. And asking for improvement is always a great idea. The fourth tip that is super important for senior developers is 
teach them how to search for a solution because sometimes we can give the answer we can help them uh, but sometimes also sitting down and show them how to search for a solution because like sometimes we get for granted that everyone knows how to search for a given solution some people is better than others but also teaching them how to search a solution will help them to teach themselves how to find solutions so that they don't come for every small problem to you but they f try to find the solution first if they have issue finding the solution or finding the right solution they can come to you for further question and explanation how would be like the best way to go further with that uh, issue task whatever it is you know it's like today in google on stack overflow you can find all the kind of explanation and solution to your problem like you know there is people laughing about copy and paste solution from stack overflow you should not copy and paste a solution from stack overflow but most of the time like problem with libraries or a particular way to write a solution or a particular problem in stack overflow and in google you most of the time find like at least like a starter to fix your own solution so this is more directed to you, like as a junior developer, you can learn how to find your own solution. But for senior developers, I think sometimes you need to teach them how to find the solution. Don't take for granted that they know how to do it. So many times I found junior developers that have no clue how to search in the correct way a particular solution. They don't know a way to write the right string in Google or in Stack Overflow because like they are not used to that mindset sometimes as a senior developer you do that so often because like i do that often and you do it by not even thinking you know what to write automatically like you have a problem you know what to write on google on stack overflow and or any other sites that can help you and find a solution or find a starter where you can start dig deeper and find like a better solution but junior developers sometimes they don't have that mindset they don't know what to write uh, or they write the wrong things so it's like teaching them how to find their own solution will save you so much time in uh, in future the fifth tip is being humble so you can as a senior developer you can always learn from junior developers they are constantly like learning new things new programming language new framework new design pattern new ways to do things they are like in that state like you as a senior developer sometimes you are like you are overworking like you are overpacked with tasks and management and whatever you need to do to fix your job and sometimes like you don't have all that time you had like in the past to learn new things sometimes them as junior developer have more time have more free time to learn and stay on pace with technology so they are moving sometimes like faster than you on learning new things try to learn from them like have like one-on-one -on -one meetings try to discuss like what they learned in the past months and how that could be uh, applied to the job these were my five tips to help every junior any junior developers that comes to you for help and how you should relate to them as a senior developers. So hope this video was helpful for you. Click that like button, click the notification bell so you get notified new videos are, uh, are up on my channel. Of course, subscribe if you didn't already. It's like I'm trying to create like more content for you. And until then, I think it's like see you to the next video. Shoot. No, I will not do this. Bye.